Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out today's episode. I'm RJ. This one is going up on a Monday, so I hope all you guys had a trippy weekend. We got a ton of new subscribers, so welcome to everybody who's new. We have live streams almost every day, and I got another huge episode coming at you very soon as well. So here we are in the dreariest town in all of Red Dead Redemption 2, Van Horn. Right off the bat, this place gives off very strange vibes. There's a shipwreck. There's always something weird going on over here at this bar. These people are just crazy. Okay, this dude looks like he's sick. Maybe too much whiskey. And this guy just looks shady altogether. Now, one of my favorite things about Red Dead 2 are the mysteries. It seems like there's two big parts of the game. You can beat the storyline, figure out what happens with Arthur and Dutch and all that. And you can look into some of the mysteries. Now, Red Dead does not really give them an obvious answer. I think it's going to be very difficult to solve some of the bigger mysteries in the game, such as Gavin, maybe the Time Traveler when you collect all the rock carvings, Francis Sinclair, and then there's the mystery of the missing princess. I know a lot of you guys have come across this on your own, but unfortunately I really haven't looked too much into it. Just the other day during a live stream, someone told me about a couple massive clues. So there is something I want to show you guys, and we will look around the town of Van Horn for the missing princess. So let's start off by inspecting the poster. Again, this is completely unsolved. You know this princess is somewhere in the game, so if you have any information or any places you think she is, let me know. But I've looked into a few of the big clues. There's an article in the newspaper you can find. I think that she is somewhere in Van Horn. So it says, reward on the 15th anniversary of the disappearance of Princess Isabeau Katharina Zinsmeister. Probably completely butchered that. The point is, she has been missing for a while. She's the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. It is offering a reward of $100. I don't really think that's a ton, so you see a lot of motivation from characters in the game to find the princess, but I think there's something more mysterious than that going on. The princess disappeared at age 5, so she was extremely young, during a royal visit to the United States in June of 1884. She has blonde hair and birthmarks on her right hand and left cheek. So there you go, guys. There's probably going to be a female character, most likely here in Van Horn, birthmarks on her right hand and left cheek. Now keep in mind, she can change her hair color, so I think that the birthmarks, it's going to be on her right hand and left cheek. That is going to be the main thing to look out for, right hand and left cheek. If found, please return her to the sheriff's office immediately. The fact that she is in this town where you already get almost like a ghost town type of vibe. There's a couple things very strange going on. Even this dude seems like a shyster. But the obvious Easter egg to the princess is these clues right here. You have the initials IKZ. That is the initials of the princess. So this is all her belongings. I think that whoever kidnapped her probably just brought her stuff here to get some extra cash. We have her belongings, her toys, her chest. There's nothing we can really do with it. Many people believe that the princess is upstairs, but you have a stairwell, two doors that you cannot get into. Keep that in mind, we will come back. Maybe we can try to get some answers from this dude, but the place that I wanna show you is just next door. Okay, so if you look at these luggages, enter into Eagle Eye and you have blinking luggages. So this is just like what we found at the pig farm Clearly the game is telling you that it's important, but there's nothing we can really do. There's no way to interact with the luggages. So keep in mind, you have the princess's belongings in the fence, and right next door, you have more boxes, most likely belonging to her. As I said, there's nothing I can do to interact with them, so I'm not sure what we can actually do to get more clues, but I do think that that is important. There's a complete upstairs area of the fence, and considering he's the guy who has her belongings, I guess she could be held captive up there. I don't see any signs of life at all. So let's go ahead and continue throughout the town. There's got to be a chick that maybe fits the description. Now, I did see this house on the way into the town, and I thought it was very suspicious. Can we get in? See, here's the major problem, guys. You can tell that a lot of these places do have interiors. You can see through the glass, but we cannot get in there. We're going to have to join up, maybe glitch into some of these buildings. Who knows? She could be in here. What the heck? The rotten Virginia possum. All right. The only marsupial in the United States of America. Looks like there's a missing board here. Nothing I can really do. 
trying to look around to see if there's any way inside, but nothing that really becomes obvious. We are searching around during the daytime. Let's see what we can find. Where are the females of Van Horn? Whoa. Okay, this is derelict right here. It looks like nobody's living here. I hope. None of these buildings are... Wait a minute. We may have a door. Who's this? Oh, wait a minute. I just am coming to ask about the princess. Okay, guys, don't worry. I have an idea. We'll tie him up. No signs of Princess Isabeau in here at all. What is this? It looks like there's a box of dynamite, and one dude did have a note on him. Let's go ahead and check that out and see what it is. Note to Ma. A note from a defiant son. Maybe this will have some kind of clue towards the princess's location. I ain't taking no more shizen from nobody. We're going to have to head inside the bar in a moment. Wait a minute. We have somebody right here. Let me see your hand, miss. She's smoking. Might be some sort of vagrant. Nothing on her cheek. All right, I'm going to say that she is not the princess. Man, I hope this isn't the princess. She'd be in rough shape. I feel like we're looking for Cinderella here. We need a glass slipper or something like that. No birthmarks. We have one female in the bar. No wonder why this is such a depressing place. Wait, it looks like the bartender is actually female as well. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Don't mind me. Uh, I'm just taking a look at you. Wait a minute. Let me look at your cheek. Okay, I don't think so. You are not the princess. Thank goodness. So it doesn't seem to be anybody here in the bar at all. I mean, this place is just completely dead. So I'm not really seeing too much. Wait a minute. We got, looks like a, a bum house in here. The bum house is inside the outhouse. Okay, I guess it's better than nothing. Who do we have here? Wait a minute. She's got an amulet. I am falling in love. Uh, we can't greet. We can only defuse. Sorry, lady. Let me take a look at your cheek, ma'am. What do you guys think? It's a close call. Her clothes are fancy. What? We need to check her right hand. What the hell's the matter with you? Please tell me there's a birthmark on there. I don't see it. And now this dude is, is pretty angry at us. Sir! I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna leave, okay? Alright, so she's leaving. I don't think it was the princess. It is close. Let's see if we can tie this dude up real quick and get out of here. You give me no choice. Like I said with the Gavin mystery, this is something that many people are looking for. And unfortunately, it does not look like we're going to find her. Ooh, we got an open door here. What is inside this building? I still need to cover it despite the fact that we have yet to find Princess Isabeau quite yet. What is this? Salted meat in the basket? How can we pass on that? Now there's one more location that we have to look at that is not too far away. Does this open up? All right. It is just up this hill. I think it's an abandoned train station or something like that. Let's see if we can walk up to it. It seems like it's always raining in this town. It must be extremely humid, or that's just the vibe they want to give it. The very creepy, eerie vibe when you enter Van Horn. So we cannot get into this place at all. It is all of a sudden pouring. Lightning's coming down. So what we're going to do is look underneath the fence. And then you do have the lighthouse. That place always stands out to me. I mean, you see the lighthouse in the distance. I've played so many games where you find a secret in the lighthouse. So if there is a missing princess right here in Van Horn, it could be the lighthouse where she is at. But make sure to stay tuned. Uh-oh, lightning coming down. Because I do have a video actually covering a massive secret that has been found. Unlike this one, no bodies. Looks like there's a wheel. I gotta say, if you're a hobo, Somewhere in Red Dead Redemption 2, you got to come out to Van Horn, the hobo capital of the wasteland. I really need your help for this one. I'm putting out the signal to the Trippy fam to try to find the princess of Red Dead Redemption 2. You know that Rockstar put these clues in Van Horn for us to find her, and the fact that it's been months since the game first released, yet still no discovery. I have a feeling there's going to be something big on the other side. So here we are at the lighthouse. we got to finish off the video here. I do have a live stream coming up, so hit the notification button. That'll let you know whenever it begins. We are working on the 100% playthrough, and as part of that playthrough, 
We're trying to find every secret in the game, which means we gotta solve this princess mystery. We have to find the princess as part of the 100% good karma playthrough. It could even be attached to karma. Maybe you cannot find her with bad karma, but we're gonna have perfect good karma and get the best ending. Princess, where are you? Thanks again for checking out the video, guys. We will get an answer. Stay tuned here at Trippy Commentaries. Hit the like button, that is much appreciated. And most importantly, as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?